Hey everyone, it's Edge of Nightfall here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to go over the top four signs that a deity might be reaching out to you. These are things over the course of my path in the occult that I have discovered for myself to be true and I hope to help a lot of you guys out there who may be struggling with this issue or may just be wanting to learn more about it. But before we get into that, I wanted to give a quick review of a book that was sent to me by an occult author and that book is called The Book of the Hidden Name, Magic of the Shemhem Farash Angels by Maximus Tyrannus Avery and it is a ceremonial magician's guide to angel magic, specifically to the 72 angels of the Shemhem Farash. It goes over the 72 angels of the Shemhem Farash and how to work with them to accomplish numerous objectives. It not only goes into the history of angel magic, but it gives you all the essentials when it comes to learning how to perform angel magic effectively. This is a very detailed and in-depth as well as precise explanation of angel magic, and it goes into a variety of aspects of the practice. It gives you all the tools you need to practice angel magic effectively. And among other things, it gives you a description of the Archangels of the Kabbalah, or the Tree of Life, along with their correspondences, as well as a description for each of the 72 angels of the Shemhem Farash and their abilities and correspondences, as well as a directory of all the angels based on abilities that one might need. Overall, I am extremely impressed with this book, and I was really honored that Maximus sent it to me. It was honestly the book on angel magic that I was looking for. Uh, I had worked with the angels of the Shemhem Farash before many times. Um, I have a great working relationship with those angels, but the book that I was utilizing for the rituals um, just after a while didn't really kind of vibe with me. I knew that um, I knew that I wanted something a little bit more hands-on and I believe that this book does provide that. This book's combination of in-depth and precise information as well as its beautiful presentation is really what makes it one of my favorite books currently. Now I will admit that I have yet to try the rituals in this book but I have no doubt that they'll work because the knowledge that I have on these kinds of systems uh, from my experience that I have performed have worked wonders and I can tell that these are legitimate rituals and that they are going to yield results but once I find the time to perform the rituals which I have no doubt that the techniques are going to work um, I am going to make a full-on video about this book because I'm honestly impressed with it so much this is a really well-made book uh, both in its presentation and its actual application and because of that I feel like it deserves its own video from me even though the author didn't specifically request that I just I have to say I like it so much that I wanted to do that so be on the lookout for that I will hopefully get that video out in the near future and again I just wanted to give a thank you to Maximus for sending me a free copy of this book uh, if you want a copy of this book I'll have it linked in the description down below as well as the pinned comment down below as well so with that all said let's get into the video with number four you see signs of the deity or deities in question everywhere you go this can be everything from animals to repeating numbers to even objects. These are things you just keep seeing in your daily life as synchronicities unfolding. The things in question all have a direct connection with the deity on a symbolic and metaphoric level and these things also directly tie to the core nature of that deity. A couple of examples of this would be if Odin was calling you, you would probably be seeing signs of ravens and wolves. And if, say, the Greek goddess Hecate was calling you, you might be seeing a combination of black dogs, uh, snakes, owls, and even horses, as these all relate to her and her nature. One of the experiences that I've been having uh, as an example relating to the 72 angels and the 72 demons that I mentioned earlier in the video is I've been seeing the number 72 like everywhere I go. And I think this has to do with more the 72 demons calling me as opposed to the angels, but I do have a connection to both of them and 
my work with them has been incredibly effective, so I have no doubt that it could possibly relate to both sides of these divinities. Number three, when starting out, you can ask this deity to help manifest something or give you a certain kind of information that you may need, and they will give it to you very quickly. You may feel a connection with this deity already, and just to test the connection out, ask it to help you manifest something, and you notice that when you do, uh, you either get a very fast response when it's something like information, or if it's something you're trying to manifest, like trying to test the waters of that relationship and see if they'll actually go out and do what it is you want them to do, um, you find that that yields extremely fast results. This usually only happens in the beginning, and certain deities are willing to do that more than others, I find, but overall, this is a fairly common indication that a deity is willing to work with you. I've heard of people who've started out on their path and have felt the connection to the deity Satan, and simply asked him to help them manifest something or give them something that they've been wanting, and he's actually done it. Another deity who's really good at this type of thing is Santa Morte. Um, I've heard of many different accounts of when a dedicant of hers uh, asks for something that they need, sometimes to you know work with her better or just something that they need because they're struggling with something. Uh, she'll actually help manifest that thing rather quickly, and she's a very good deity for that considering she represents a lot of different things. She's a very uh, interesting being to work with for sure. Again, this doesn't happen all the time, but usually it happens in the very beginning um, when one is just starting a relationship with an entity or, you know, kind of testing the waters out per se. Um, so if you feel like you're connecting with a spirit, uh, test this out if you feel it's appropriate or you feel that the deity is giving you the go-ahead to do so. Number two, you feel a great amount of love coming from that deity towards you. This is one of the more obvious signs that a being is wanting to work with you um, and usually this is an indicator that they want to work with you for quite a bit of time, if not your entire life. These relationships can come in the form of that being representing themselves as a grandparent or a parental type energy or even a sibling or friendship type of energy. It all depends. And depending on which one that they choose, it can indicate a different connection with that deity and give you insight into the nature of how they intend to work with you. Most of the time this does come in the form of a teacher of some kind, even if they do have a family-like impression that they're giving you. Most of the time the teacher-like presence is part of that equation in some way, shape, or form. And finally, number one, you resonate heavily with that deity. This one is pretty much a no-brainer, admittedly, but you'd be surprised how many people, including myself in the beginning, miss this. In fact, it takes a little practice for most people to get the hang of catching when deities are actually calling out to them like this. Most people are too caught up in their conscious mind and not enough in the subconscious, intuitive feeling mind to recognize when a deity is actually doing this. We get in the analytical parts of our minds so much that we forget to connect with the intuitive aspect of it. And this can lead to a great many opportunities with said entities um, missed, or at the very least delayed. If you have a fascination with a being or a group of beings for no apparent reason. They just speak to you for some reason. Be aware of that. Be aware. Try to catch that as much as you can when it comes to your workings with spirits because that's really one of the biggest and one of the most obvious, admittedly, indications that you are connecting with one of them. And as simple as this point is, it is, in my opinion, the most 
important because out of all these points, it involves the most skill when it comes to recognizing certain energies in your reality because it's one that has to do directly with your own mind and your ability to pick up on certain energies. So those are the four main signs that a deity or group of deities is calling out to you. Let me know down in the comments section below if you've had a, a being of some kind call out to you, whether that be a god, goddess, uh, an angel, or a demon, or an elemental perhaps. Uh, call out to you and let me know your experience. I'd be really curious to hear uh, your guys' experiences um, because this is something that can get really interesting really quickly. Uh, I know there are just a, a ton of stories out there that I've heard about that are really interesting when it comes to this subject. So let me know down in the comment section below what yours is. And speaking of entities, again, the Book of the Hidden Name, Magic of the Angels of the Shem Hem Farash, is linked down in the description and in the pinned comment. I also want to mention that I have recently branched out onto different social media platforms. I do have an Instagram account now that I have started to post on, as well as a Twitter account and a TikTok account. So so I haven't posted anything on TikTok and I don't know when I will. Right now I'm kind of focusing on mainly Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, but I will probably jump on the bandwagon when it comes to TikTok because it seems like there has been quite a community that's grown on there and I think it would be a lot of fun. So if you want to follow me on these various platforms, I'll leave a link for those in the description and in the pinned comment as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to give the video a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video.